NASA's CubeQuest Centennial Challenge hopes to accelerate the technological capabilities of tiny satellites, known as CubeSats, that may help the space agency achieve future mission goals faster and more affordably. Many modern technologies help us while we go about our daily lives. Weather forecasting, faster internet, stronger cell phone signals, worldwide communications, aerial view maps, navigation, and many, many more. All through the use of satellites. But satellites are big and expensive, especially when you include the cost of getting them into space. CubeSats, however, are changing all of that. Thanks to shrinking electronic components and miniaturized sensors, things we used to rely on larger satellites to do can now be done with much smaller ones. These satellites are called CubeSats because they're literally shaped like that, cubes. Just a bit larger than your average coffee mug, a one-use size CubeSat is 10 by 10 by 10 centimeters. Build a frame twice that size, you get a two-ube CubeSat. A satellite that's equivalent to six cubes is called a six-ube CubeSat, and so on. NASA sees CubeSats as unique tools for space exploration. A cooperative group of CubeSats could simultaneously make measurements over a large region. For example, tracking a Martian weather system in ways that a single conventional satellite couldn't. What's more, tiny CubeSats typically are much more affordable in comparison to their larger counterparts. They can take less time and cost much less to put together and test. Their small cube-like architecture means CubeSats take up less space in a launch vehicle, require less fuel to get into space, and are easier to deploy. Instead of launching only one satellite on a single rocket, we can pack 15 or 20 CubeSats as hitchhikers along with a larger payload. So far, CubeSats have mostly been limited to operations in low Earth orbit, but that's about to change. NASA's Centennial Challenges wants to encourage people to come up with unique, innovative ways to use, or better yet, create technologies that will take CubeSats boldly where none have gone before. The CubeQuest Challenge reaches out to amateur inventors and technology enthusiasts to deliver CubeSats that can get to the moon and beyond. The CubeQuest Challenge offers cash prizes to qualified teams that can achieve any of several stated objectives in space. Part of the $5.5 million in prize money goes to the teams that successfully achieve a stable orbit around the moon, a feat never before accomplished by a CubeSat. Doing so requires teams to successfully deliver solutions to challenges in navigation, propulsion, command, and control that are unique to satellites venturing beyond Earth orbit. Centennial Challenges also aims to encourage solutions to long-distance communications challenges. So there are prizes for competitors whose CubeSats communicate at the fastest rate and transmit the largest amount of data over a limited time. Then we push CubeSat technology even further by offering other cash prizes to competitors who can communicate with their CubeSat from the farthest distance, at least four million kilometers. That's more than 10 times further than the moon. There's also a prize for the CubeSat that's able to survive the longest in deep space. NASA's CubeQuest Centennial Challenge is open to anyone that wants to compete. You think you can solve the problem? Well, we want to see your solution. Just head to nasa.gov slash win it for more information about the CubeQuest Challenge and our other challenges. Be part of Centennial Challenges as we continue to advance technology, not just for NASA, but for the nation.